Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange. In this demo, we are going to show you how to configure two factor authentication for Windows VPN. Let's configure Windows VPN in Mini Orange. Log in using username and password sent to your email on account registration. Click on Apps tab. Click on Add Application button. Select Application Type as the radius and click on Create App button. Click on the Windows VPN application. Fill all the required details to add Radius client. You can see the list of IPs on the right-hand section. These are the load-balanced IPs of the Mini Orange Radius server. Keep one of the IPs handy for the Radius server configuration in RRAS. Click on Save button. Your app is configured successfully. Now, let's configure Radius in RRAS. Now, right-click on the Start button and click on Search. Search for Server Manager and click on it. Now go to Tools, and click on Routing and Remote Access. Right-click on your server name and click on Properties. Go to the Security tab and select Radius Authentication in the Authentication Provider drop-down. Click on Configure button and configure the Radius server by adding Radius Server IP and Shared Secret. The shared secret entered here should be same as entered in Windows VPN app configuration in Mini Orange. Make sure to increase the timeout to 60 seconds. Now click on the Authentication Methods button and select Unencrypted Password in Authentication Methods. Go to IPv4 tab. If you have any DHCP server available then check the DHCP option, otherwise check Static Address Pool. Add an IP address range. Click on Apply and OK button. If you specifically want to add L2TP VPN client, then go to Security tab and check Allow Custom IPsec Policy for L2TP or IKF2 and add a pre-shared key which will be used while adding VPN client. Now right-click on your server and click on All Task option. Click on Restart and restart your server. Now, let's set up the Windows VPN client. In your client's PC, go to Network and Internet Settings. Click on Network and Sharing Center. Click on Set up new connection or network. Select Connect to a workspace and click on Next. Enter the VPN server IP in the Internet Address field, and the VPN client name in the Destination Name field, and make sure to uncheck the Remember My Credentials checkbox. Click on Create. Click on Change Adapter Setting and locate the recently added VPN connection. Right-click on it and go to Properties. Go to Security tab, and select Point-to-Point -point Tunneling Protocol from the drop-down under Types of VPN section. Enable Allow These Protocols and select Unencrypted Password Protocol. Click on OK button. Go to Settings and click on VPN. Now click on the recently added VPN connection and click on Connect. Enter your username and password. After successful validation, you are connected to Windows VPN. Now, let's add another policy and configure 2FA for end users. Go to Mini Orange Admin Console and click on Policies tab. And then click on App Login Policy. Against your application click on Edit option. Now enable two-factor authentication method and click on Save. Click on Apps tab. Against your application click on the Select and then Edit link. Enable this option to include both a password and an MFA factor in the same login request from your Radius client. Click on Save button. Now go to the Customization tab and click on Login and Registration Branding. You should change the organization name and save that by clicking on the Save button. Copy the login page URL for End User Login. End User can only use this URL to log in into MiniOrange User Dashboard. Once, you are logged into the dashboard using end-user URL. Click on Configure 2FA tab. Choose an appropriate method to be used by the particular end-user during login. For now, we have selected the Google Authenticator as our 2FA method. 
Now follow the steps to install the Google Authenticator method and enter the passcode generated by Google Authenticator app. Click on Save button. Now click on the newly added VPN connection and initiate a VPN client connection to verify your configuration by clicking on Connect. Enter your username, and in the password field enter the password followed by six-digit OTP code shown in Google Authenticator mobile app against the user's account. You can see the example on the screen. After successful validation, you are connected to Windows VPN. Thank you for watching this video for any other questions drop us a query on info at securify.com.